want to give an introduction to types of reactions and uh, reactivities just briefly. Talking very generally at this point, we have a couple different types of reactions. We have a combination or coupling reaction where we just take two separate molecules, we bring them together, and they form a new molecule. No waste produced necessarily, though often we'll find that So sometimes there are direct combinations. So if you take aluminum metal and you burn it in air, you get aluminum oxide. And there's nothing else that's produced other than heat and a lot of light. But a lot of reactions will form multiple products. So there's metathesis or double replacement sorts of reactions, where I've just chosen hydrogen and X, which can mean whatever you want it to. But basically what's going on is you form AB plus HX. You can think of it as partners switching in reactions, why it's called a double replacement. So now instead of having A and H together and B and X together, you've swapped. You have A and B together and HX together. We have combustion reaction. which really, I guess we C, X, H, Y, and C. Something along these lines, you react it with oxygen. Really, you can have any elements uh, other than the noble gases. The oxygen will react with them. You'll get the oxides, so you'll get XCO2 plus Y over 2, H2O, plus Z, HNO3. This is like the mineralization reaction that went on. SO2. So these sorts of things. This combustion reaction. So you're just taking whatever material it is, reacting it with oxygen, and getting the oxide species. So for some more explicit examples, rather than just using A's and B's, we'll look at some, some examples of these. So one example of a combination reaction is the reaction of styrene. Bromine is a very corrosive red liquid. It's volatile. It forms a gas. Um, and it reacts very quickly with double bonds that are isolated. So this aromatic ring, under standard conditions, will be stable to the attack of bromine. But this double bond here, it's all by itself, is going to be very vulnerable. And so they're going to react. And you basically just get this addition, this combination. We've added, we have a new molecule. So we started with, let's see, this is C8H1, C8H8 plus Br2. And we're going to C8H8 Br2. A couple different examples of these double replacement sort of reactions. So there's a. You can have something along the lines of a cross-coupling experiment. Uh, oh, 
let's so we'll say we can do this with a whole bunch of different types of groups but we'll So this is a trimethyl tin. Uh, then this is a dimethyl benzene. So it's dimethyl phenyl trimethyl tin or stanane. Organotin compounds are extremely toxic, as are basically any. Uh, so if you look at the periodic table, these are the heavy metals. So Organo, gold, mercury, thallium, lead, tin, indium, cadmium. These compounds are all extremely toxic. Um, people still do chemistry with them. Um, this reaction, so we can take this and combine it with, for instance, so this is one iodo propene, prop, because you have three carbons, ene, because you have this double bond, and one, because the iodine is on the first carbon in the double bond. It's also the Z isomer, because the iodine and the methyl group are close to each other. These two will react, you'll form draw the product over on this side. So we've basically just taken the iodine and the trimethyl tin away and connected where they were attached to each other, and we form an equivalent trimethyl tin iodide. Now you can do this reaction using, because tin is so toxic, people have changed over. You can use almost, I don't know, there. you can use zinc or boron or silicon or uh, magnesium or, you know, it's basically all these different types of coupling reactions, coupling reagents. Tin is one of the best in terms of the chemistry. The stilly coupling is what it's called when you use tin. is one of the easiest reactions to do. It works really well. You get really high yields. But you have this trimethyl tin iodide left over that is essentially weapons grade. <laughs> uh, it is really nasty stuff.